There you go. <laughs> I'm on the top. He's the that was cute. Do that again. You need to stand Come on. Down the hill. Come on. Hold hands. Let's stand on the nope. tire. We're good. Hold hands. All right. All right. So no. <laughs> We're out of Sand Hollow. We've got 35s on the Pro R. So hey, guess who's back? No one cares. They're here for the Pro R, dude. Nah. So we are off camber once again, finally. Yep, all three. Somebody's yeah. wife's here for me today. <laughs> I know who you are. Read your comment, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, so we're, we borrowed the Voodoo Pro R again. Um, same as last week. Appreciate Lane uh, being so gracious. And we also, this time. Yeah, what's different? And they said, come borrow ours. And so we swapped the wheels this morning. Not mad that the orange wheels are gone for Not a mad little at bit. All. No. Um, but yeah, we're excited. 35 stickies, um, stock gearing, everything. We want to see how it compares to our gear reduced Turbo S, yeah. uh, the general. One thing so that we, is different this week to last is uh, fine line suspension. Uh, Lane took it up there and had uh, some springs thrown on it, and I don't know if he did internals or not, but yeah, so it's got an eye box set up on the spring. So that's another difference that you'll. It's may got or may not quite know. a bit of ride height now. The it clearance, does. It's got a lot of clearance. It, it went up, up a couple inches. Yeah. So we'll big see if that's a benefit day. or not, at least in the rocks. Yeah, we'll see. Our otherwise stock, so 35 springs, no sway bar. Yeah, we'll be it. completely honest and like let you that's know it. everything that's done to yeah. this thing. Um, I think we should bring up that the uh, just like on side by side blog, if you watch theirs, they have a Pro R. The only problem they've had so far is the coolant line busted off because of the clamp. Yeah. Same thing has happened here yesterday. Yep. Yesterday at the dunes. So. Um, Players need to address that, but just know if you guys have a Pro R, have one on order, that's probably something you want to address. Get a different clamp style yep. for the rear end there. It's got the, the springy yeah. type one. You guys put a ratchet type yeah. one. Yeah, yep. So it might be worth doing before you even have the problem. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. It's 10 cents for the part. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's get to it. So we're at the maze, eight rated trail here at Santa Hollow, one of the most famous trails. Uh, you, you can check out our other video. We'll link it in the description. Mm -hmm. But let's go. Trail. Yeah, let's go hit some vertical stuff. See what this thing could do. You ready? Okay, so we're in the maze. We stopped at one of our favorite climbs, Pucker Pass. Ooh. <laughs> it's actually not too bad in our long wheelbases. This one should be good at 104 and a half. Um, we had a little iffy time on the RS1 <laughs> on the 29th. <laughs> Early as I did. RS1 was a little. That was super sketchy. That was yeah, a bit I didn't like that. That was the worst spot I've been in in a long time. Maybe we'll throw that quick clip in here. We can do that. Should cool. Because sure that. that was extremely sketchy. Oh, so Royce decided to do Pucker Pass. How are you feeling right now? Decided to try Pucker Pass. Oh, yeah, try it. And I got Pucker. Really sketchy. Wheelbase is king. I mean, um, yeah. vertical stuff. Yeah, so what makes this a little tricky, it's a very steep climb. You probably can't tell from here. But when you get to the top, it's got a big old bump that wants to pop you up. And when you're on that, that kind of angle, it'll get you. What are you guys talking about? You're preaching. That's Eric's job. Yeah. Oh, here you go, dude. Trail Do it again. Preaching. Tell us. That was rude. <laughs> tell Trail preaching. That was rude. What would you say, preacher? Just what what's, you said. What's your inspiration that was, that was here? perfect. Okay, We've been cool. in the congregation long enough, we know what he's going <laughs> to so say. So here, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we had a conversation just 10 minutes ago about nervous about going up certain obstacles. But everybody forgot rule obstacles. number one, which is... If the Terex can do if it. If the Terex done it, you can do it. Yeah. And the Terex has done everything on this trail, so we're good to go. Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, Ryan, you're up. stock gearing on that thing i mean he just crawled that he just crawled that that wasn't giving it too much that was perfect i think i hear a little honda civic aka pro r coming around the corner so i turned the camera on just in case he's coming back down it's a big hill Yeah, just go straight down. 
Worst thing that happens here is he runs me over. First time a Honda Civic's ever made it up the Hucker Pass. It's funny because as I heard you coming back, I said, I hear a Civic, so I'm turning the camera back on. I know. It, that's what it sounds like in here. I'm waiting for like a like a Fast and Furious blow-off valve all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what do you think? It was extremely confidence building. I mean, that was huge. Did it feel a little rigid with the springs? No, not too bad. Um, I have it, so let's go. I have it rock mode for the suspension. And then I have the the throttle and steering in um, sport mode. Yeah. So it felt pretty good. Good. I mean, well, I'll have to test out that stupid rock throttle mode again. But hey, I've got an idea. Polaris, if you're watching this, make it to where there's a fourth option where you can go in and program your own throttle settings that you want. Yeah. So let's say one race is at 100, rock is at 30. Yeah. Let's say I want 80. Yeah. Let let me program that in. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, when you someone want can do it with the tune, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Eric, give the people some variety. What do you think, you Eric? Try it. Yeah, I'm gonna try it eventually. I mean, you wanna try it right now on this? I mean, we're here. I mean, I can hit it. I mean, you should. Okay. Let's do it. What? I don't I know. Can't, I don't got anything. I don't like about it is you can't see over the hood. The seats are lower than you're used to. It's lower, and then this thing kind of. This little airbox dealie sticks up kind of in your way sometimes. Yeah. I think it's just one of those things you get used to. You will. You're used to sitting pretty high up yeah. with your aftermarket uh, seats. Too. Yeah. So we like talked about myself. this last time you and me went out. This is actually kind of nice. Yeah. Retractable, Retractable stuff because then you can have your harnesses up. We'll actually wear them. If and yeah. We might actually wear them all four points. Right. Because that's the problem is on regular ones, you have to like take them off to be able to lean forward to your tire and whatever, but you can get them. You're good without it. Yeah, I really so, like them other than the six point. Yeah, yeah the that, six that point. That thigh strap right there that goes on this side, that sucks. It does suck. It's really Unless uncomfortable. You're a chick. It feels uncomfortable, but it... If you don't have anything down there, it's fine. <laughs> but it holds you in there pretty good. I mean, like, yeah. it holds your legs from it sliding does its off job. the seat. Yeah, if you're a racer sure. or something, then you're good. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. hit it. Man, check out this perfect day we got out here. It's like 60 degrees, sunny. Out here in Pro R. Easy cowboy. So what happens when you give a guy a little bit of power that never has any power? <laughs> tries to wheelie the whole damn thing. I wanna try rock. Go for it. Flip it in the middle. Yeah, here in Rock. Well, anything to say? Yeah, so it is a little stiffer in the back. You could feel it. I could feel it. Heard it's the last little, week. Yeah, it was a little stiff going yeah. on. This thing sprung for Lane. Yeah. He's a dune guy. Likes to jump, likes to get yeah a little, little crazy, high speed stuff. But what I'll say is, so I had it in sport mode, throttle wise, sport going throttle, up, okay. right? And so that was, I could definitely get used to it. But because I was not used to it, I went up that a little quicker than I wanted yeah, to. Yeah, you were. So at, at the top though, I flipped it to rock mode, and at I at the bump right there. No, or after at, I okay, went over the top the, of it, top of the I threw it, and I, I actually like it. I wish it was, I mean, if it's 30%. Ryan and I were joking. We're like, this dude needs rock mode because he comes from a Terex. Oh, it's, it might be true just because that's what I'm used to, right? Yeah, rock mode feels similar yeah. to like a KRX or something. So if rock mode was 30%, I would probably want it to be 50%, yeah. maybe 45%, it's something like really that. really dumbed down. It's pretty dumbed down, but I actually liked it after that. Okay. So it's it's pretty close. I'm sure in, you could get used book. to it, but yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's go do some other stuff. All right. All right, so over by You Gotta Be Nuts. Are we gonna talk him into totally today? I mean, we could try. I mean, I think we should. You think so? Yeah. Look at him, he's still unsuspecting right now. That's true. Totally nuts. Totally nuts. Today? Totally. Yeah, do it. Let's see. 
I mean, today's the day. Today's about the Pro R. Today is about Royce doing totally nuts. Focus shift. <laughs> hey, by the way, nice Chupacabra head, headset hangers. Those are nice, dude. You can do pull-ups on these things. Yeah, they're sweet. Yeah, they're super nice. Hey, those mirrors look beefy. Stand on those. Stand on those. Stand on them? Yeah, yeah. Let's try it. Step on it. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think I need to tighten this one. Maybe that one. Stand on the passenger side then. All right. Mm -hmm. Wait. All right, Nick. <laughs> We're going to test them for you, buddy. We are going to test them. All right, so these are the Chupacabra race. Yeah, I think they're called race. How, how much you weigh, race? 200 pounds. All right. Here we go. Well, we know the motor armor doors will do it. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Didn't even move. No. These things are beefy. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. See so, yeah, how they're they have double mounts, so they're a lot stronger. Yeah, those are beefy. So the other one. the other ones we've got that I'm not going to stand on. I mean, I bet you could. Yeah. But are these guys? The gonna be the bolt. These guys here, huh, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Nice sweatshirt. I know, right? Hey. I hate that little rattle sound when you turn it off. I know. Yeah. Makes Either it sound like something's broken. The only thing that has ever made me nervous as far as a decent wheelbase is watching a Can-Am do it. Yeah. Their front end seems to be super light. They've got that hoppy front end. Yeah. I don't feel that in here. It doesn't, No. you don't get that. I don't want to hit that bump there going at any rate of speed. So yeah. I think I might, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to go to more to the right. Just a little bit. Yeah. And then kind of curve it around. I like straight lines on vertical stuff. There's plenty amount of traction on this thing. Like there's no... Yeah. Let me, no let, me, let me feel it, dude. I'm dying to feel it. Especially <laughs> once you get like... God damn, that's high. So yeah. here's the thing. Royce loves vertical stuff. He does. It doesn't he bother me at all. Right. No, he freaking loves if it. If a he car can really drive that vertical, I like, I like doing it. He's also never gone backwards yet. That, that so I'm not going to go backwards on anything. Factor. No, I don't no. think so either. So, what's your bet? Is he feeling or is he going? I think he's going. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad I didn't do that. I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So you want the good or the bad? What? Good news is you did it. Bad news is I missed half of it because I was too busy watching you. What about you? I got it, but I was in vertical mode. Mm. So you have to was do it again. This guy acts like he's never videoed before. Dude, it's been a while. Did, did I make you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. How'd it feel? Good. I, I planned to just feel it out, and it was like I'm on rails right now. We knew I'm it. I'm on train track, good. and I'm just like... I'll okay. Going. Well, it bounced around a little bit. A little yeah, bit. it did. And There's I a couple. The I know these bit. tires well enough to know when they bounce and they go back down, they catch. So, yeah. just kept going. Well, do it again then. All right, dude, you got to get it this time. I get it this time. <laughs> okay. Take two. So we switched out of rock mode into comfort. I'm not used to that. I know, it's K. I unlocked it when I was turning around. I had the same problem with KRX. Alright, one more time. Alright, here Ready? we go. What? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> now look here's that. I'm too busy watching the tires though so I'm like 
And then by the time I realized, I'm like, oh shoot. So here's the deal. Now you have to get in and drive it. Yes, and it's your turn now. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh. The good news is you made it again. <laughs> Stop filming again? I missed it again. <laughs> what about you, I was too busy watching the car. I got it, but I was in vertical mode again. Oh I got all the wheels. I just missed a little bit of the top. <laughs> For, for like, you know, a couple seconds. I tried to make it interesting for you, I but know. I didn't know you're like a two-year-old and you can't focus. I was a little bit worried, you know? I know, but hey, dude. I was riding shotgun out of shotgun. Yeah, you were. Yeah. So. Glad you have empathy. You're very empathetic. A little bit. You're only, only for the car. Not for anything else. Yeah, you're a sweetheart. For going two miles an hour, I have a decent amount of adrenaline. That <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm telling you. That was uh You that one was a little more nerve wracking than the first I one. I tried to go slower on yeah. purpose. I wanted to feel the car. I know that the car has power and the tires and the gearing and everything to get up, but so I wanted you, to I wanted to really feel it. So what now? Um keep on going. There's a double up over here. That one should be fun in this. Yeah, we'll do that. I agree. We'll do so double. Ryan Ryan is too scared to go up. You gotta be nuts. That sounds harsh. I'm sorry. You will. I'm not here to impress anybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not going to lie. 50,000 bucks. It's, right. It's nothing like my turbo. No. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to send them around the back, which I actually think will show something different too, because that's what everybody really discounts. Again, watch our maze video. Going around the back is no easy task either. You're going to see it. I mean, it's. But hey, here's yeah. the thing. Eric's over here making fun of Ryan, but no, he right. hasn't. Done, he's done this one time. In a Terex with a lot of peer pressure. Tons of peer pressure. Has never done it in the general because we've never been in the main. One time in the Terex is enough. All the peer pressure. For my day. whole life, but I will absolutely go up in the general. There was no All peer right. pressure left that day no. to give. Well, no, there was like 12 the people general. watching. That was it. <laughs> there you go, just like that. Nice. Nothing. That's super smooth. So I'm trying to keep this smooth as I walk. Woo! What'd you think of how that looked? So this was my worry the first time that this thing came out and you could see pictures was that trailing point connection. Let's see if we can show how low, <laughs> how low that is below the body. Just for the shot, bro. Yeah. Just built the animal. You gotta get you gotta get down and into it. Anyway, that was one of our concerns. <laughs> You're <laughs> you guys, a double film. Yeah, I know you guys are jerks. We can do this in like stereo or 360. <laughs> it's a 3D or whatever. But so far, it hasn't been a huge like issue. What does that mean? We're all the Spider-Man's are pointing at each other. <laughs> What's going on here? We're in. You jokers, put your phones down. Mind all right. Go ahead. Anyway, at least so far on the two-seater, it hasn't it's been a huge, yeah. huge issue. Yeah, no. It hasn't been hanging up. No. Um, surprisingly. I don't... But this I'd, is all vertical stuff, so I'm not right. really expecting it. It's those weird turns that... Yeah. I fully expect... It the four seater to get, I don't want to say hung up, but at least drag way more often, obviously both. at that point. Yes. It's going to be both. Yeah. So we haven't really got it that so way somebody, yet on this so thing. Somebody does a high clearance arm on that, but I'd love to see it. How's it going to step up? Yeah. I'm really interested to see what HCR zebros, what they come up with for I'm this excited. thing. I mean, I'm excited for, to see what somebody's able to do. I am too. It's all about innovation. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. I am too. I think it'll, I think somebody's both of those companies and a bunch of people are coming to come up with some cool stuff for it to make it less. Yeah. So you basically a high clearance trailing arm, right? The aftermarket has a way of, of fixing things for purpose built machines like ours. So. Yeah. So what was that again? So the shifter in this thing is like, yeah, wow. like you can't even tell what gear you're in. We thought maybe it was just this one, but from what we understand, it's kind of a lot of them, if not all of them. Look how much play is in this thing. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. You can't even really tell when you're in gear. Like the, no, the only guarantees are parking high. Yeah, because you're, you're at the top the or throw. bottom. Yeah, yeah, it's something players should definitely look at. I mean, it shouldn't be that loose. No, Turbo S isn't that loose. Right. General's not that loose. No. Be nervous going around this rock right here, making this truck. <laughs> I don't blame him. Anytime you get in a new car, you 
don't know how it's feeling. Dude, this could be sketchy right here. Nope. Woo! Well, that shorter wheelbase helped right there. <laughs> Should we count the turns? It could be a 17 point turn. So that was three minutes of pure comedy gold right there. It has to be. It's Austin Powers. It's oh, Austin yeah. Powers thing. All right, let's see how she does. There you go. Okay, so we just came up this last climb and now it's time for final thoughts. So, Ryan, spill the beans, what, what's your yeah, thoughts? Man, I, I had a ton of seat time in that thing today and some the gearing impresses me. I, I mean, like, number one gearing is... is I think the clutching the and the gearing combo Both of them. play you touch in the pedal, touch it, it yeah. goes where you want it to go. Yep. Steering, me. It's different modes, give you different steering. Something about it was not great up. with those 35s. Yeah. yeah. Um, you didn't drive it very much today, did you, Eric? Just no, the, just the, that just one climb, cars. but it was enough to be able to tell the difference. And again, we're comparing it after uh, laying through some shocks on it, so that through so is yeah, a little springs. bit different, but still. It's, I mean, there's a lot of really impressive things about it, and I agree. The biggest thing, at least for us and what we do, right, is the gearing and the clutching. Throw mm. 35s <clears throat> on it and go. If the Turbo S had that gearing and clutching package, like get out of the way yeah it would be awesome. if all you're gonna do in the rocks because even even our cars right like when we took them put 32 inch paddles back on them and took them to the sand dunes like our our cars were working hard with the gear reduction yep mm -hmm. so if we can maintain that high that high end and still reduce the the low gear to that it would be awesome okay here's the question everyone cares about right now is coming from a turbo s4 owner is this superior in the rocks or not in your opinion so I mean, the MSRP on a four-seat velocity, which is what I have, is 26K when they were brand new. I buy almost two of those for what I can pay for one of those. In a so these seat. things are 40 when they're not the orange special edition. Right. So, so 40 that's for a two-seater. Still, I can build out a full four-seat Turbo S velocity with every, you know, all the aftermarket goodies. So you're talking 16 grand between yours and the four-seat Ultimate. I mean, yeah. for what we do and in, in not, you know, ripping around in the sand and all that other stuff, I... I don't see the value in, in that machine. I like it. I think it's great. I'm glad it exists. But for me, for what we do and where we ride mostly, I'm going Turbo S4 all day long. Really? Yeah. All day, all day long. long? All day long. No hesitation? No. My car set I'm, up the way I'm it not, is. I'm not quite with you there, Ryan. <laughs> Dude, my car set up the way it is right now. I'll take it over that MDA. Here's the deal, though. Ryan wasn't here last week. Yeah, I'll take that. So here's the deal. Ryan wasn't here last week when we took it out in stock form. 
the springs are dialed for the dunes. It's way, way too much preload for the rocks. Mm -hmm. You come up on something steep and it's it's, it's wanting to bouncy. hop and bounce and you back up and the wheel comes off the ground. It's, it's just not ideal. But last week, comparing that to a Turbo S, yeah. I'm not decided yet. I'm not black or white like you are, like hands down. This, I mean, that's just yet. one day in it too. Right. I mean, I can't say like ripping around in the sand on the way up here is a blast. It was fun. Like I can't say anything bad about it there, but it's not what I do. So right. for what we do, so we got 40 gram for sand hollow. You're choosing Turbo S built. Buying a KRX <laughs> <laughs> with uh, two seater and four seater, showing some different trains, sand yeah. whoops. We haven't jumped them yet. Probably don't do that in other people's cars. <laughs> so, I mean, no. maybe not. No. We can put uh, Lane's videos in here. I think we got some footage of, of some jumping in, in tur tur er, Pro R's. Yeah. yeah. There's a couple of them floating around here that I think have sent it pretty good from what I hear the other day. It's yep. cool pink, so we could probably get a hands on that footage and be able to insert it somewhere in this area. All right, here's the thing though. Let us know, subscribers, if you like this kind of content where we're getting other people's cars that you're not seeing the same cars every week. We thought that would be helpful uh, to see a, a variety of vehicles out here. Uh, so if you're not yet subscribed, which 65% of you jerks have not yet subscribed. <laughs> Going hard. Don't be rude. I'm kidding. I can only imagine what he said about me on that last obstacle. <laughs> He's going, you guys jerks. 65% of the people who watch every video haven't yet subscribed. It helps us out, guys. So please yeah. like, please subscribe. Um, it's free. And then we've also got our Dead. Patreon. All right. Checking in. Patreon. Dude. Five of you have stepped up to the plate and donated on Patreon. We appreciate you guys. Super Andy awesome. DeSoto, Sean Dodson, Spencer Finch, Justin Phillips, and Tyler Hess. We appreciate you guys. You really Definitely MVP. appreciate it. Yeah, we really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for stepping up and uh, and donating to Patreon. We appreciate it. It goes a long way in helping us kind of do these things and and being able to uh, to keep providing this content, go different avenues, and try out different things. So. All right. So Royce took off. He's got to go. It's his daughter's birthday, and as we're headed down. We're like, hey, we're driving right by the chute. Yeah. Let's do it. Well, I was here the other day with Revolution when they ran their first, the first four-seat Pro-R up, up the chute. So I figured, might as well be there. a video of a two-seat Pro-R going up the chute. Might as well do it. Let alone on Rockzilla's. That's right. So Boom. we figured, what the hey. See, I'm doing good with my mouth. You man. are doing, doing good. good. Look at you. So we're going to run her up here and see what happens. Let's do it. All right.